Hello everybody, I'm Brick, and welcome back to my attempt to history. Today, we're going to talk about a piece of armor. This is an hourglass gauntlet, or at least my attempt at making an hourglass gauntlet. Um, so, here we go. The hourglass gauntlet was a very common gauntlet used throughout the transitional period in the Middle Ages, so that's going to be like mm, the mid-1300s to the mid-1400s. And um, this is not a perfectly historically accurate hourglass gauntlet because a lot of the times the cuff here would be forged in one piece with the metacarpal plate area. Now, as you may know by reading the description of my channel, I make my own armor. So, due to the fact that I don't necessarily have the greatest armor forge or the ability to use heat very well, I kind of got around that by riveting the cuff on to the gauntlet. Speaking of the cuff, let's talk about that now. The cuff of the gauntlet is incredibly wide and incredibly short to allow the wrist of the wearer to move without having an articulation there. The fingers of this gauntlet, which I personally think I could have done much better, are done as uh, scale fingers, so they use many small plates to cover the fingers. They articulate quite well, and um, they protect the fingers well enough, but a hard impact to them is never nice. The thumb is also done in a similar style, using only two plates, and the articulation is solely achieved with the leathers, which allow the, glo which allow the gauntlet to stitch to the glove. As we can see, I now have the hourglass gauntlet in my hand, and I can show why the wide cuff is necessary, because it allows me to move my wrist around. Next, we're going to talk about the finger articulation, and specifically the knuckles. If you look here, when I bend my knuckles, another plate is articulated underneath the main uh, top of the hand plate. This allows the uh, fingers to remain protected as they move. The reason we do this is because if you look at my hand here, and if you look at my knuckles, the skin is all bunched up and kind of folded, but when I bend my hand, it all extends and becomes tight on my knuckles. This is why we need an articulation here, because unlike my hand and my skin, plates of steel are not a soft material. I've used these hourglass gauntlets in several fights, and I can say that I enjoy them quite a lot, although the finger protection could be better. Um, assuming that we're doing SCA fighting. For in SCA fighting, I use mitten gauntlets, which offer much greater protection. These gauntlets I use for more um, harness fechten and fencing style fighting. If you ask me, that might also work as a pretty darn good knuckle duster. I wouldn't want to get punched with this guy. All right, well, thank you for watching. That was my attempt at an hourglass gauntlet and a video explaining about it. Um, Thank you for watching. Please, tell me what I did wrong. But please, don't break my fragile heart. I did make these gauntlets myself, and I am not a professional armorer. So, um, thank you for watching. Have a good one, everybody.